Hello. In this video, we'll be talking about some of the different ways that you can size on the fly when you're creating a print job in QImage Ultimate. Sizing on the fly has always been a strong suit of QImage, so let's go through some of the different ways that you can do that because you can really cater it to the way that you do business. Let's start out with the simplest way. If I hold my mouse over here next to the preview page, and I bring up my print properties dialog box from there I'm going to be specifying the default size to use and if I click on different sizes you can see over here how the preview page sample updates to show me what that would look like I'm also going to make sure that my auto cropping button is on so that I get exactly the size I choose and it's able to crop the image if it's a different aspect ratio so now that I've selected my default size that I want to work with, over here on this side in the thumbnails, you can simply click the plus button on any thumbnail that you want and it'll be added at the default size of 4x6 that I just selected. I can show you that now. Just click the plus button on the photos that I decide I want to print. And you can keep going page after page, scroll down here, get one more. And you can see how clicking the plus button is a very quick way to just tell QImage Ultimate I want to add that at the current size, which happens to be 4 by 6 Now let me clear the queue. And now you might ask, well, that's nifty, but what if I don't know which images I want to print yet? I haven't really reviewed them. Is there a simple way to review as you go. Well, there is. By starting out in the thumbnails here, I can click on this button which says Select All, or I can click Control A over the thumbnails. That's a standard window, Windows operation for Select All. Now I have selected all thumbnails to say I want to review all of these. And now I'm going to click this button, which is the Preview and Add. When I click that, it brings up a nice size view here that I can judge sharpness and the way that the photo will look and print. And I can just click next and one at a time, if I like that one, just click add. Next, I'm going to skip that one. I like that, so I click add. And you can see they're going on the page over here. Again, at the default 4x6 size that I had selected before I started this. So, just keep on clicking next and add as you like. When you're done with the preview, just close this window and you've got your print job ready to go. Well, the next question probably should be, what if I don't want all 4x6s? Well, of course you're not limited to 4x6s, so let me clear the queue and we'll start over again. What we're going to do this time is, starting from the thumbnails, I'm going to bring up my print properties dialog with all the sizes and with that dialog open I can highlight any thumbnail that I want and just click the sizes. Let's say I want an 8x10 and a 5x7 of this bird. Well I select it and click 8x10, 5x7. That's all you have to do. If I want, let's take this guy with the ears here. Let's say I want a 4x6 of him and two wallets. That's all you got to do. Just select the thumbnail or thumbnails if you want to select more than one and then you click the sizes that you want and as you click the size they're automatically added to the page. Now let me also point out at this uh, point in the video down here I'm under optimal spaced print placement and basically what that says to QImage Ultimate is whatever size I choose just arrange it to try to save me paper. Put it optimally on the page and no matter what size I choose, if I choose this bird, open my print properties and do a 5x7, there you go. It puts it on the same page. If I want more 3x2s of that, click, 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 click. You can see them going on the page back here and that automatic placement method here ensures that you can just click and keep going. You don't have to worry about layouts or anything like that. Okay, as a, the final example here, I'm going to clear the queue. What I'm going to do this time is show you a way to combine 
those things that we've just learned. I'm going to select all the thumbnails again, but before I do the preview, I'm going to hold my right mouse button, open the Print Properties dialog, and with this Print Properties dialog open, then I'm going to click Preview and Add. You notice when I do that, Print Properties stays open. Now, as I'm going through my preview, I can use this box here to pick any size I want. I don't have to use this Add button. So when I see that bird, I say, oh, that's nice and sharp. I'm, I'm ready to print a 5x7 and a 4x6. So I just click those. Now I move along. Next, next, and the horses, I'll uh, print a 5x7 of that. Just click the size with this displayed. Whatever print is showing in your preview screen here, the large preview, you can just click the sizes that you want. So if with uh, him on the screen here, I can click 4x6 and 1, 2, 3 wallets. So you can see the flexibility here that's available to you uh, and the ability to preview and size as you go along. Obviously it's also very easy to, let me clear the queue, and I've got wallets here. Let's say I wanted wallets of every photo in this folder. Well, that's pretty simple. All you've got to do is select all and then click the add button. And there you go. You've got a full page of wallets. If I wanted uh, some information displayed under these, I can click down here, use uh, info, and turn that on. There are also other sizing options that you can do for contact sheets and order sheets but with this video basically what I wanted to do is show you the quickest way to size your prints get them on the page and, and work with them and again you can do sizing on the fly on this side very easily too uh, let's say I wanted all the flower photos so I'm holding the control key while I click these, another standard Windows function. Let's say I wanted all the flower photos printed out at 4x6. Well now I have them selected and I'm going to bring up my print properties dialog and click 4x6. It's as simple as that. Now all the ones that you had selected, which are the flower photos, we have a second page now so I'll show you. The flower photos are all 4x6. All the others are still 3x2. So sizing in QImage Ultimate is very simple very easy to work with and not only that you get a lot of different ways to do it and the reason that we have so many ways to size is because we want to be able to cater to your workflow how you do business so if you typically just set your size to one size and use it you can do that if you'd like to size on the fly and you need a 5x7, a 4x6 and three wallets and you need to move on to the next image and do something a little different you can do it that way too so hopefully this video has shown the different ways that you can size and you'll find that uh, QImage Ultimate can cater to your needs and make the job very simple. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.